Hey guys, KT here. Welcome back to some more Battlefield 1, where last time we actually, uh, well, we died after we helped out, uh, oh, what's his name? I, I don't even know. The kid. I'm just gonna call him the kid. Um, and now we're heading, uh, to the top of Fort Nobet to help him escape, but the one problem is, I just really, really suck. Now, uh, I just gotta make sure that, you know... Everything is done correctly, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I just gotta be very, very careful. Because my objective is up there, but when I'm not, uh, being good on my stealth, I'm not gonna be able to make it, which is a big problem. Oh, go figure. I guess he's gonna... I don't even know. I think, uh... Fuck, I had to... I'm so glad I ducked there. He could have spied me right off the bat. What's up? Oh, there's another one, really? Oh, fuck it. I'm going. I'm going. Fuck, I just gotta be very, very stealthy here. Because if I'm not, I'm just gonna get spotted and screwed up. You can't see me now. Made sure of that. Oh, I, I am very worried, actually. I'm not going to lie. Uh, when you're dealing with this constantly, you get really, really nervous. There's got to be careful. Shit. Because if I get spotted, I'm basically screwed. But if I get enemies when they're n fuck, it, I'm running. Yeah, works. Okay, let's run up. Up. Oh, fuck, I have to go all the way up there. Fuck, I got this. I got this. As long as they don't fire a single round, I can get by this. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. This is how you get by. Now, the first time I didn't get by this whatsoever. There we go. Wait, hold on. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, whatever. Fucking ignore the fact that I even exist. Okay, see what's in this crate. Ooh, automatic. I will take that. Wait, how do I? I'll take you all on. Oh, this is a three-round burst rifle. Holy shit! I didn't think about that. Yeah, that works. Okay, just keep on running. Bloody flame Wait, you're, you're shocked? This is the first time you saw it, or, or what? I, I don't know. I feel like we <laughs> we fought him in the last mission. Just saying. No, we fought armored guys. That's right. I didn't fight a flamethrower. Uh, I feel like an idiot now. Oh, okay, just keep running. Just keep running, 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 shotgunning. Okay. Get to the courtyard. Wait. Is this... I thought... Oh, shit, I actually have to capture it? I thought that was just a joke. Oh, fuck. Okay. Here we go. Come on, we got this. Oh god, so I have to just make sure nobody comes in. I mean, that's easy. Why not? I mean, this is the only entrance they can come in, so... 
That guy, on the other hand, could actually do some major damage. See ya! Wait, is it, did someone actually make it in? Oh fuck, really? I'm taking that. Oh wait, nope. That's about, that's a lot better for me. We're gonna stick with that. Okay, and this is a single shot. Alright, that'll work. Better than uh, anything else I can come up with. This music's out, though. All I can say. Uh. Huh. So. Did he live or did he die? Fuck. Questions. Fuck, fuck. Why you gotta leave me off with these? Oh, my God. I'm guessing he died. He got shot. And then the bombardment happened. God, that's a, that's a cliffhanger. Now I'm upset. I'm upset that that happened. I'm gonna cry now. Shit. Alright. Well, one more story we have to go to. Nothing is written. Now, there's only six stories from what I can get off of. So, after this, this might actually be the final one we're doing. In the deserts of Arabia. So, yeah. The insurgency war was raging years before I got to France. Tribes of Bedouins had united to fight a war that was very different from the one we fought in the trenches. Using Some, small oh. mobile units, they challenged the might of an empire, and they were rallied around the ideas of a single influential warrior. Ideas of freedom and change. Ha! Huh. I'm very curious how this is gonna go. I mean, honestly, because, uh, like, after I beat this episode, is it gonna be just game over, or are we gonna get one final one that's gonna pop up? I mean,. I don't know. It's very curious. And I'm not reading like usual. I'm just gonna take a drink real quick because I know I'm not gonna be doing that during the gameplay. So I'm guessing most of this is gonna be us riding in on horses because I just read that it had something to do with horseback. Um, because I was I, I don't read that fast. I don't read fast enough. Otherwise, I'd be reading this to you guys. Because this stuff just passes by left and right. So, yeah. Kind of sucks, but that's just how it is. The Arabian Desert. A vast ocean of drifting sands and scorched, sun-baked rocks. Beneath these endless dunes oil the lifeblood of our new mechanical century for more than 400 years the ottoman empire has ruled these lands controlling all that's to be found here but the ottomans do not rule unopposed 
small bands of Bedouin rebels have united to overthrow the empire. They strike without warning and then vanish into the desert. Fighting alongside them is a lone British officer whose exploits have earned him wide renown. The world has taken to calling this man Lawrence of Arabia. In the desert, you rely on good planning, but you also hope for a dash of luck. And luck was with us when we learned of a recently derailed Ottoman train carrying a most interesting piece of cargo. All right. A small patrol had joined the Ottomans who survived the crash. Together, they guarded the wreckage and waited for reinforcements. All right, I guess I just gotta mark all of them. Best I can really do, right? New objective, enter the... Wait, what? A lone fighter has just one advantage over a large enemy force. A lone fighter can move unseen. So wait, who am I playing as? Very curious. Though powerful and efficient, firearms would often attract attention. You had to be prepared for the Ottomans to respond in kind. Huh. Also, it makes me wonder why, uh, you know, what, like, what. Because I think this is a. I'm playing as a female fighter, so why why isn't she narrating? Like what? Because so far, almost every other character has narrated their own life. Yet she's not narrate. This is very weird. Because I remember the opening cutscene showed our. Uh, First, like, showed the people we'd be playing as throughout all this. It's just super weird. All right, we got this. Okay, I explained who was shooting at me. Sorry, I didn't really want to fight you guys. Hope you didn't mind. Uh, let me quickly head over. Steal from your end. Ah, so weird. Who the hell? Why is? Uh, I don't even know. This is gonna bother me. Oh, hello. That would have been useful er earlier, but I guess uh, doesn't matter now. Do I still want it though. I'll swap it. Why not? Silence pistol or not, I can use it if I go into a stealth mission later on. Okay, so where... What do I... Okay, that's a mo mortar... Okay, whatever. Yeah, I'm playing as a female. Why isn't she narrating? So weird. think we would be fast enough to catch you here, did you? Lawrence of Arabia. Actually, I was rather depending on it. Eh, Lawrence? Ah. Well, this is very clever. Now the hunter becomes the hunted. So who might you be? 
How enchanting you are, my dear. <laughs> Achmed. I'll show you enchanting. If it weren't for you, I'd be free. Free, is it? You'll be free when you're dead. And I'm happy to tell you, the Empire intends to grant you all this freedom very soon. Even now, an engine of destruction scours this desert, obliterating your allies, your families, your homes. Soon there will be nowhere to run! Oh. Nowhere to hide! Soon all that you know, and all that you love, will be ashes. You will all be free. Zara! Oh. Now I understand that you would like nothing more than to strip the flesh from that man's feet and send him off into the desert naked to die. But think about it. You're right. I'm sorry. My friend here, she can be a little brusque. You're going to tell me how to lie to your train so we can lure it into a trap and destroy it. <laughs> Impossible. To even begin to talk to that train, you would need an entire book of communication codes. Oh, like this one, you mean. You can never stop the progress of machines. One day, the whole world will take your lands and the precious black gold beneath its sands. We shall see, my friend. Huh. Of course, obtaining the codebook was not enough. To destroy this Iron Dragon, this Canavar, as the Ottomans had named it, we had to send it three encrypted messages telling it to stand. There were Ottoman outposts scattered along the railroad tracks. The commanders there carried high-priority message capsules. We had to use those to send our orders. Infiltrating the village wouldn't be easy. A full detachment of Ottoman soldiers had occupied it. The Ottomans had chosen an isolated location for their desert outpost. It seemed lightly defended. It was also well stocked with arms and equipment. The ancient ruins were all that remained of a civilization now lost to time. The Ottoman Empire brought in the modern world with a host of armored vehicles and field guns. Three commanders to eliminate, three personal message capsules to be stolen, and then sent with our false orders. How Zara tackled this dangerous and audacious mission was up to her. This is so interesting. So wait, is Lawrence the one who's speaking and we she's just telling our story? So weird, I don't know. It's just so weird compared to the others. But you know what guys, I'm gonna end it here. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch page really helps out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!